I'd like a nice Persian eye, please. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. From Cleopatra to Beyonce, women throughout the ages love their black eyeliner. And if you're ever stuck in the middle of a desert without a makeup bag, no worries, because now I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect pencil all by yourself. Deep in the Jordanian desert, my Bedouin guide Suleiman, along with one of the women in his settlement, showed me how they've been making eyeliner for centuries. I love Bedouin makeup. So what did the women use the, the coal for? Is it just for makeup? No, it's not just for makeup. So they would use it in the wedding, uh, celebration, feast. Do men use it? Only for medicine. Sometimes you just put it in the eyes, and that will be the best protection you have for your eyes from the heat. And for eye infections. And the other thing, they use it for the for the people to see even better at night. So it's like homemade night vision. Yes, and uh, to get the eyelash color and to make it even grow. Do you know how much money people pay for in the States for stuff that'll make your eyelashes grow? A lot of money. The eyeliner is made by burning cotton soaked in olive oil under an iron pan for 20 minutes, then scraping the residue from the bottom of the pan. This is the kohal, oh, you see? Oh, wow. Yes. Paul, are you ready for that? Mm-hmm. You are? I'd like a nice Persian eye, please. All right, let me see. Ooh. Oh, and my eyebrows too, hey? <laughs> Most Bedouin women at this settlement don't allow their faces to appear on camera. So you'll just have to trust me when I say, while I may have looked like a refugee from whatever happened to Baby Jane boot camp, this woman looked way better. I'm just glad you didn't give me a unibrow. You know, I had one of those in high school, and I, I suffered enough. <laughs> okay, that makeup experience was amazing, because now I know if I'm ever caught in a jam, all I need is an iron pot and some matches. Okay. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I meet Bob Marley. You've got a woman, so there's no crying. And see one of the seven wonders of the world. That's just breathtaking. Download the Yahoo app to your phone or tablet.